hey, check it out. And, um, I just received this in my inbox, so I wanted to just share this with my people. Um, please excuse the alerts, um, if the notifications, if um, they do pop up. But they're talking about here, uh, well, he's talking about watch out for the 4th of July, you know, for mysterious things or, or something's going to happen. But I'm going to let you hear it, and I just wanted to just share this with you, man. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button, man. Um, you know, there's some helpful information for you. Or well, period, period. If you're in the community, man, you know, share it, okay? Alert as follows, comrades. This is an early alert of supposed activity this weekend on the 4th of July that would cause harm to our people on a very large scale. The Huey P. Newton Gun Club has received intel from two credible sources that multiple white nationalist groups slash militias are planning a nationwide attack on all of our people over the 4th of July weekend. The sources could not confirm the motives of the nationalists, but they might be tied to the events that have recently happened with the taking down of Confederate symbols across the United States and the retaliation against police brutality across the United States as well. We as a preparing this group should take this threat very seriously for two reasons. One, for the events that have sparked the epicenter in Minnesota with the murder of George Floyd, and the sudden spike of Klan recruitment in the southern states the past three months. Please, do not take this threat lightly. Okay? Uh... Over the past couple of months, there has definitely been a spike in recruitment in this area. It is my job to pay attention to these things, and I have. There's also been a uptick in rhetoric online, threats from these different militia groups. And again, this is not a training exercise. This is real. The threat is real this weekend. Take precautions when you're out and about with your families. You should avoid large crowds of people, which shouldn't be hard because we're still on a coronavirus protocol. So staying away from large crowds should be easy. Most of the fireworks events and so forth, I believe, have been canceled. If not, you may want to consider staying away from those. And I know, like myself, we're not celebrating the 4th of July, but I know people and their children like to see fireworks and may want to go out anyway. I would advise you not to do it while you're out. Be on the lookout for anyone that looks suspicious. Yeah, a white person wearing a coat or anything that doesn't look appropriate for the weather because they might be carrying a firearm uh, up, under that, uh, up under that jacket or, or whatever. Also, any packages or anything like that that might be getting around with no one attending it. Just like the announcement airports. If you see a package, no one around it, get away from it. Avoid being near uh, trash cans, trash bins, things like that because these white nationalists and white supremacists have been known to put bombs inside those things with nails in them and things like that. Look at the bottom line is protect your family at all times. Be on the lookout. We all should be on a heightened state of awareness anyway with everything that's going on around the country right now. But this weekend, you need to be on an extra high state of alert. This threat is real. This is not some uh, conspiracy theory or anything like that. Uh, this information comes from credible sources uh, down through the Huey P. Newton Gun Club. And it is important that you take whatever steps you deem necessary to protect yourselves and your families. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to inbox me. This weekend, I will be available. I will be in town. Uh, I was planning on going out of town, but I will not. I will be in town uh, the entire weekend. Uh, we are on a high state of alert. Again, everyone, everybody to be safe out there. And again, take this threat very seriously.
All right, y'all. Check it out, man. I know he was just saying at the events, but even taking like public transportation or anything of that nature, if you see people like if you're in your car and you're seeing people like walking up to your vehicle, you know, I understand, you know, how they got across the street or anything like that. But if you see them like walking like closely to the side, take that seriously. You know, I'm not saying jump out and, you know, do anything to them. But sometimes, man, people throw, you know, fireworks in your vehicle or they throw it, you know, you know, somewhere around your surrounding where someone can get harmed um, because we're not paying attention because it is the, you know, the 4th of July. But there you have it. This is some serious stuff. Um, and I just want everybody to know, man, that, you know, I'll be praying for everybody. Just, you know, pray for me and my family, too. All right. But and lastly, lastly, it's it's not just you know uh, white people, man. You have to watch out for all different types of nationalities, even our own people, even black on black. I mean, it's just you know, it's just people that just do ignorant things, and they come in all shapes, sizes, forms, and colors, man. So, you know, be careful. You know, that's when you're the most vulnerable is when you're with your family. I know we be on high alert. We want to have fun. Kids want to pop firecrackers, you know, and do what they want to do. But at the same time, we still have to protect our families. All right. If this video was helpful or whatever, like, share, and subscribe, man. Comment below. Let me know what you think, man. And um, we'll get at it. I will be doing more videos, too. So like, share, and subscribe, man. Western World 1 out.